So what I'd like to do in this video is take you through the SAP Business One mobile application for the iPhone. So in order to access the application after you've downloaded it from the Apple uh, iTunes App Store, you simply go onto your iPhone or your Wi-Fi enabled iPod Touch and you choose the application. I'm going to log on and I'll just put in my password and I'll choose log on. And the very first screen you'll see inside the Business One application is your current to-do list. And you can see right now I have two to-dos and these have come directly from SAP Business One. Let's take a look at the first one. This activity is a phone call and I have to place a phone call to Norm Thompson and I have to follow up on an outstanding invoice. And you can see quickly and easily I can view all this underlying information and if I want to, simply by choosing the edit activity option, I'm able to go in and make the necessary changes to this particular activity. So for example, I can go in and I can update the content and I can just simply type in here, updated information. And you can see I can use all of the native iPhone functionality, the um, auto-correct spell checking and so on. And I'll say done. And then I choose save. And in real time, that information is automatically going straight back into SAP Business One. So I'll go back to my home screen. And now I can choose to jump in and look at my modules. Now inside SAP Business One's mobile application, you can see I have a number of different choices. I have my dashboards, I have reports, service calls, service contracts, uh, a whole range of different functions. So I can access my approvals and I can see any approvals that have come in into the system and I can see here is a request for a sales order that came in two weeks ago and this particular sales order I have gone ahead and I have approved. So I can view not only new approvals but I can go back and I can review any of the approvals that took place in the past. Now of course uh, you can see this is a live demo so again uh, as I'm receiving emails on my iPhone you'll see them popping up uh, into, uh, onto my iPhone screen. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to go back and I'll go and choose my modules again. I can also see any of the alerts that are inside SAP Business One. At the moment I have no alerts in the system. I'm also able to go in and I can view my business partners. I can get a full list of all my business partners or of course I can simply run a search and let's say I want to find my business partner called Earthshaker. I just put in as much of the information as I know and there is my business partner information. So if I'm out sitting in front of a, uh, one of my business partners, I can immediately see what is their account balance, their credit limit, all of the details about this particular business partner. I'm able to see any of my uh, contact details. I can see who my main contact is. In this case, it's Bob McKensley. And I can drill down and I can see all of Bob's information. And you'll even see I've also got some social media information here about Bob, his LinkedIn profile, his Twitter handle, and his Facebook account. So I can then dive back. I can then go and see all of the contacts that I've got for this particular business partner. I can see all of the addresses that are available, and then I can drill down and I can look at my transactions. I can see all of the activities that have taken place. I can see any of the special prices that have been allocated specifically for this customer. In this particular instance, I don't have any special prices. Any of the sales opportunities that I have for this particular customer, and if I want to, with the Business One mobile application, I can go in right now and I can create a brand new sales opportunity. So let's take a look at one of these existing sales opportunities. So here's my sales opportunity. And right now it's an open opportunity. I can see all the information about this particular opportunity and I'll then go back and go back one more 
And then I can also go in here and see my sales quotations. Now, I can go and add new sales transactions if I want to. So I can go in here, I can call up an existing sales transaction. So I can call up an existing sales quotation. I can just specifically say, I only want to see the quotations that I've created. In this particular instance, there aren't any. Or I can view all the quotations, not only the open quotations, but also I can drill down in here and I can take a look at the closed quotations. So let's go in and let's create a new quotation for this particular customer. So it's Bob McKensley. I can specifically choose the currency that I want to work with. In this case, I'm going to say my local currency. Now again, remember all of this is happening in real time. What do I want? So I can now go in here and I can start adding my items. So again, this real time lookup is occurring. Let's say in this case, Bob wants uh, a quote for some IBM InfoPrint 1312s. So I'll select that product and then I'll say done. What's the quantity that Bob's interested in? Well, again, I can dive in here and I can change the quantity and he's interested in a quantity of 10. I'll say done. It's automatically going to go ahead and do all the recalculation. I can look and I can see what the unit price is. Now, if I want to, I can change that unit price or I'm going to go in and I'm going to give him a discount for this quote of 10%. So I'll say done, and you'll see the calculation is happening on the fly. Once that 10% uh, discount is given, and you'll see what will happen is that my pricing has automatically now changed. So I'll say done. That's it. Do I want to add some more items? No, I don't. So I'll say done. Do I want to make any changes? Do I want to add any remarks? Uh, and I'll say, quote, valid for seven days. All right, and that's done. So I'll say done, and now I'll say save. And that sales quotation is now going straight back into SAP Business One. Now, it's just reminding me that I'm violating a, a business rule. So the posting date field, I have to say it's equal to or earlier than the system date. So again, I'm going to put in the posting date, and I'll put in my system date. Whoops, we're actually in June. And then I'll say done, and I'll save it. All right, and my transaction has now been entered. Now you can see all those transactions are there, including this most recent transaction that I've put in for Bob McKensley. So all of the transactions are available in here. Once I've got that customer open, I'm able to go in if I want to, and I can then create a new transaction. So for example, I can create a sales order. So I can see all the sales orders that are in here. Once again, I can see my sales orders if um, there are any in there, or I'm able to go in and start creating a new sales order. So let's do that. Again, I'll choose my local currency. I'm going to choose my posting date. Now you might be wondering, why is this posting date coming up like this? Well, here is the thing. My Business One system, I'm using Business One On Demand, and it is configured to be using a server in the United States. So even though my date here in Australia is actually it is the 20th, in the United States where the server is still located, it's still the 19th. So that's why uh, it's picking up those date differences, and that's one of the features in Business One, is that you can configure where the system picks up the date from, either from the client or from the server. In this case, I've got it set to the server. So what items do I want? Again, I'll choose an item, do a look up on my item. Let's print out IBM Info Print 1312 again, and I'll say done. What quantity? I'm just gonna leave it as a quantity of one, so I'll say done, and that's pretty much, so that's it. I'll now go ahead and I'll say done. Do I want to change anything here on my order? Nope, that's all okay, so I'm going to save the order. And now the order is available sitting inside the backend system. If I look in there, there it is. There's the order that I just put in, sitting there in the backend system waiting for the sales team to go ahead 
pick the order, pack it, ship it, and then invoice it. Let's take a look at a few more of the modules available in the SAP Business One mobile application. So you've already seen me take a look at some of these different uh, modules through the sales order entry and the opportunities field. So for example, I can go into my inventory. I'm able to now call up that particular inventory item. There it is, it's my IBM info print. I can see what is my in stock quantity and I can see my quantity by warehouse. So I can see my quantity for all warehouses plus I can see all of the other warehouses where this particular product is stored. So I'm able to drill down and see that information. I can look at the price lists. I can see all of my specific price lists that are available inside SAP Business One. And what I'm also able to do, right now I don't have any images, but if I've got images stored in my back-end SAP Business One system, simply by tapping on the image field to the left-hand side of the product description, you'll actually see that I can call up that particular image. So then let's go back. Now I can, if I want to, jump straight to the modules just by tapping on the module uh, button down the bottom. I can see my price lists. Again, all of the standard price lists that I have, my base price list, so I can choose the product, then look at the price list, or I can choose the price list and then go and look at the product. So again, total flexibility there as to how you want to look through that information. I can view my sales opportunities, and you can see all of the sales opportunities that I have that are open at the moment, and I can call up any one of those sales opportunities and review it, including sales opportunities that are won, sales opportunities that are lost, and of course, sales opportunities that are currently open. And then, once I've finished in that, I'll just dive back and go back into my modules. We've already taken a look at the sales quotations and sales orders, but I'm also able to go in and I can look up my service contracts. So I can see any of the service contracts that are currently open for this particular customer. So here's a shaker. You can see all of the underlying business partner information is available for me to drill down to. I can also then look at uh, other information about this particular contract. So I can see it's a warranty service, the start date, the end date of the warranty, the response time, and the resolution time that's been committed to. So let's go back. What I'm also able to do is I can go and see all of the service calls that are in the system. So let's take a look and let's see if we can find an open service call. All right, so here we go. I actually have a pending service call here. So I'm able to call up that service call. There it is. I can see all the details about that service call and then all the additional information regarding that service call. Now, once I've got the service call opened, I can go and I can start recording activities against my service call. So I can say I made a phone call, I um, completed a task, whatever the case may be. Uh, I can see who the contact was that I did this with, and again, update all of this information from my application. Let's then go back. I can then also, if I want to, look up my available solutions. So here is a solution that's available for me. So again, you've got the capability to search through the knowledge base that's inside SAP Business One. Let's drive back. And then I'm also able to go ahead and look at my reports that are configured inside SAP Business One. I'm also able to take a look at my dashboards. So here, for example, is my current sales analysis dashboard. Let's give that a second to just update. And what this is doing in real time, it's going back into my SAP Business One system and it's rendering uh, the dashboard for me. There you can see I've got my year-to-date sales analysis, I've got my sales opportunity analysis with my opportunity win rate, my top five customers, my item ranking, and so on. So all of this information is here available for me. Now, of course, if I want to as well, I'm able to go in here, choose to update uh, information on this, draw on this particular dashboard to pull people's attention to a particular area, or I can choose send, 
and now it will give me the ability to then go ahead and send this email out or this dashboard and send it in an email to somebody and I'll just send it to myself for the sake of the exercise to one of my other email addresses and I'll just say dashboard and I'll hit send so that dashboard has now uh, been sent out to me I'll go back you can see the other dashboards that are available and there's the whoosh sound indicating that that's been sent and in a couple of seconds because I've also got that email account on my iPhone you'll probably see a pop-up message telling me that that, uh, that that email has come in so all of those dashboards are available in here for me as well so let's go back that's pretty much a summary of the functionality that's available inside the SAP Business One application for the iPhone uh, if you'd like any more information please don't hesitate to reach out to me you can uh, send me an email to richard.duffy at sap.com or of course uh, if you'd like to leave a comment on this video here on YouTube uh, I will do my best to get back to you and respond as quickly as I possibly can so with that uh, I'd like to say thank you to you for joining me for this quick look at the SAP Business One mobile application for the iPhone. Thank you.